Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally doing another Bath & Body Works video. I got my haul of goodies behind me and I have purchased a lot because there's been a lot of new stuff and I've had some questions from you guys wondering when my next video is going to be. So typically with Bath & Body Works stuff, I do a new haul and shop with me when they do a new floor set, which is about once a month. So typically I'll post a Bath & Body Works video once a month unless it's during the holidays, then there's always a lot going on but they came out with some of their like spring and summer stuff so they have like a new tropical collection for body care candles and they also have their Easter stuff out so I did buy quite a bit so um, I did do a shop with me as well so we are gonna get in with that first just to kind of see what is in store um, an idea and overlook of all the things and then we'll do my haul all right, so going in, here is the Tropical Paradise Collection. They have all the scent notes up front. So we have the new Belize, which is the Tropical Cabana. Waikiki Beach Coconut is also back again. They always have this one every year. Also, Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower is back. And then this one's new, the Fiji Sunshine Guavatini, if you guys like fruity scents. Moving over, this one's new as well, Key West. This one's Coconut Water and Melon. This is the little minis that they also had in the selection. They didn't have everything, but most of the minis were available. And then they had these lip oils, which looked so good. They had a couple different flavors. I kind of wish I bought one because these were really cute and I would love to try them out. So you guys love to let me know if you guys got any and what you think. And then I had to show they do have a moisturizing body wash in the Bahama scent and also this beautiful sand scrub for the Waikiki Beach Coconut. This is also the newer coconut collection, although these are pretty much all repackages. They had coconut lime, raspberry tangerine, sunwashed citrus, coconut pineapple, and the regular coconut scent. These were out previously. I did not buy any of these because I'm just not huge on coconut. And then they do have new aromatherapy, including this sea salt one. I usually don't buy aromatherapy, you guys probably notice. I don't know, they just kind of overdo it. I feel like with that, I would rather just buy the regular body care, but these are just an overview of what they have for the aromatherapy scents. And then we'll move on to the candles. They have the new tropical candles out, and they also have this different pineapple thing. I think it's a holder for like the single wicks. This candle here is Island Daydream. They also have the hibiscus waterfalls. Next up is Warm Ocean Breeze, Flamingo Beach. I definitely recognize some of these names. I don't usually buy a lot of the coconut or tropical scents. This is Tiki Beach, New Sunkissed Coconut, The Emerald Waters. We also have here this uh, pineapple one, which everyone's going crazy for, Orange Pineapple Punch. I didn't end up picking this, but now I kind of wish I did. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe I'll get it later. And then uh, Passion Fruit Banana Flower. This one is Island Margarita, back again. And then we also have Ocean Driftwood. And there's another pink pineapple holder. And then these are the minis that they had. They had a few select scents. You could get suntan as well. These are a overview of the soaps. I didn't go too in-depth, but they have all the tropical soaps out right now. As well as a select few hand creams and hand sanitizers as well in these same scents over and over. <laughs> and then we have this collection of soaps too, which um, I wanted to show too. Sorry, I didn't go too in-depth with the soaps. I'm just trying not to buy so many. There was like a lavender one that looked kind of good. I was very curious about, so I may have to go back for that one. And then they had some of the Easter soaps out too, so I wanted to show these. They also have these in candles as well, but how cute. I just love the Easter stuff. They also had the the, uh, blueberry donut uh, soap out which I haven't seen yet and I think I saw the cucumber melon last time and then here's just an overview of the hand sanitizers nothing too crazy and exciting but I did end up buying one so you guys will see that in my haul and then over here uh, this was the next day they actually had tropical spice out um, today on Monday and they did put out the beachy keen Fiji white sands as well and they also put out the Easter candles so we have the love every bunny sweet carrot cake uh, here's more of the soaps here they also put out the blueberry biscotti candle and the lemon cake pop here's the happy Easter one which kind of smells like champagne toast it's like a duplicate so nothing exciting and then let's get excited marshmallow fluff candle 
this is the cutest candle holder um, for Easter. It has the little bunnies on it. My mom ended up getting this one. It's one of those $60 ones and the butterflies float around. It's so pretty. This is her <laughs> smelling the candles. I told her I had to take a video clip because I thought it was cute. And then we have this cute little bunny wallflower and the little chick one. And then over here we have uh, the Happy Easter body care. They only have minis and there's also a bath bomb in there. And then here's an overview of this beautiful Kindle holder, which I really want to get. It's so sparkly. And then I also wanted to show the new wallflower plugs that I haven't seen yet. There's like some tropical ones, a seahorse, a sea turtle, a flamingo one, which I really like as well, and this little pineapple. All right, time for the haul. As I said, I did buy quite a bit of stuff, especially body care wise. Let me start off with the candles. So I was really excited for this collection to finally be in stores. I've heard so many rumors about it lately. People were like, oh, it's not coming. It's only in test stores, but it is here and it is here for the Easter setup and it should be in stores now. This one is the Lemon Cake Pop Candle and it looks like it should have been in with the Valentine's Day stuff based on the packaging, but I was so excited to be able to get this one. The notes on this one are frosted citrus glaze, vanilla cake pop, and sugar crystals. Ugh, so good. I did burn this one last night to see how it was. It does have a pretty strong throw. I thought this one was very strong burning. It filled up my entire house. And um, there's been lots of debates on if this is a repackage. And I do believe... It is a repackage and it does smell like the London Tea and Biscuits candle or if you guys have frosted, is it Lemon Snowdrop? Frosted Lemon lemon Snowdrop, something like that. Um, this is pretty much a spot on dupe for that scent if you guys have that in the body care. But it's one of my favorites. I'm so sad they didn't make it in body care this like year or anything like that. Maybe later we'll see it again but it's one of my favorites so I did actually end up getting two of them. It smells so good. If you guys like a sweet lemon, like a lemon uh, bakery scent, this is so good. It's not like a very tart citrus lemon. It's very sweet. Also in that line, they have the iced blueberry biscotti. Of course, I did burn this one too. I like to give a little bit of a burn so I can tell you guys how it was for me. This one is really nice as well. As you know, Bath & Byrx does a lot of blueberry candles, like blueberry pie it comes to mind um, of something that it is a little bit similar to, but I do feel like it's different overall. The notes of this are sugared blueberries, sweet vanilla icing, almond biscotti, and brown sugar. It's really nice, but yeah, very similar to like berry waffle cone, blueberry pie, and that type of family. Maybe a little bit lighter, not as strong as those, but if you guys like those, you would definitely like the iced blueberry biscotti from that same collection. Now into the tropical candles that I picked up. I'm not always the biggest fan of the tropical stuff, but I just kind of wanted something new. I haven't purchased candles for a while, it seems, and I really like the packaging of these. So the first one I got was the sun-kissed coconut. I did burn this one and it's pretty strong as well. It burns really nicely. This one has a little bit of a coconut to it, but it almost has like this beachy vibe as well, like a tropical salty air type of vibe. It's not super coconutty because I'm not a huge fan of super coconut scents. Um, but this one is really nice. It almost reminds me of that banana body care that I'm about to show you guys just a little bit something about this but I mean sometimes the Bath and Byers tropical summer scents I feel like they they come out with similar ones every year and I don't always buy them and review all the ones that they have but it definitely smells like something I have smelled before but I mean overall it's a really nice scent. The notes are sweet coconut, fresh Ling Ling, and plumeria petals. I also picked up the hibiscus waterfalls. I thought this one smelled really nice. It kind of reminds me of like a laundry, fresh laundry type of scent. It's really good, for, I think, for spring. The notes are tropical hibiscus, sweet peach nectar, and fresh waterfall mist. But yeah, if you want just a fresh cotton laundry scent, this is it. It smells really nice. Just a nice, fresh, everyday type scent. And then the last tropical one I got is Emerald Waters. As you see, I didn't even buy like the top hits from the collection. There's a pineapple punch one. But I'm not the biggest fan of pineapple, so I decided to skip that, but everyone's going crazy for it, as well as Tropical Spice is back. I remember I had that candle back in the day, like forever ago. I'm not a huge fan on spicy stuff, so I didn't buy that one either, but I did pick up this one called Emerald Waters. Um, I did burn this one a little bit in the kitchen last night. It has notes of salted sea waves, ocean driftwood, and a hint of orange blossom. I would say I'm most disappointed in this one throw-wise. I feel like it didn't burn very well. I burned it about the same amount as the other ones. The other ones, I guess, burned a little bit faster. Um, this one burns slower, but I feel like 
it just wasn't as strong overall so uh, the wicks were kind of drowning a bit on this one so I would maybe skip this one I was a fan of the other ones though of course I didn't burn the hibiscus waterfalls yet but in cold it smells really good but yeah this one is just okay all right, next I'll show you guys the Easter ones. I just picked these up today. Now going by the names, these sound like something like right up my alley, but it turned out that most of these are duplicates of other candles. There was another one, I can't remember. I only got two from the collection. There's another one, I think it's a Happy Easter one actually. Um, it says one name, but it actually smells like champagne toast, but I did get this one as well. It's called Let's Get Excited. <laughs> it's really cute. I love the packaging on this one with the little chicks all over. So adorable. Um, this one is supposed to be marshmallow fluff. I feel like it kind of does smell like the gooey marshmallow from like holiday a couple years ago. I can kind of see that as well. But overall, it does smell really good. I love a good vanilla. This one has a cute little bunny face too on the lids, which is really fun. And then I also picked up this one, which is the Love Every Bunny. And it's a sweet carrot cake. This is a somewhat new scent for them. It says sweet cream cheese frosting, fluffy carrot cake, and cinnamon spice. Like I said, I don't really love the spicy notes or cinnamon. But something about this... I do kind of enjoy. Um, it definitely reminds me of like their fall candles. I can get a little bit of the carrot cake vibe with the um, spicy cinnamon note to it, but I feel like I don't get a ton of like the cream cheese note, but I'm going to definitely burn this one and see how it goes. I thought those were really adorable. So those are all the candles I got. Let's get into the body. So first I do want to talk about these. I am so excited. I am so sorry that <laughs> these are really impossible to get, but um, these two scents from Bath & Body Works came out as a Canada exclusive and everyone was like going crazy for them. A lot of the Canada stores had to shut down for a while for COVID and so they ended up sending these scents actually to outlets in the United States for Bath & Body Works. Now, there is a difference between a Bath & Body Works at an outlet mall and an actual outlet. The store actually has to say outlet underneath it because they do exist. And actually, we have one in Minnesota that would be the closest one to where I live. It's still a few hours away, but one of my friends actually picked these up for me. I feel like these are pretty much sold out at most of the outlets now. They were there like a couple weeks ago and they had them for super cheap, like $4 each. So they are pretty hard to track down. But if you do have an outlet, you can definitely check there to see if they have them. But I really hope that these release again or at least come out for a semi-annual sale because they are amazing. We have the Sugar Coated here, which is their fragrance mist. I just wanted to share um, in case you guys are looking it up or if you guys want to get it on like Mercari or anything like that. It actually doesn't even have the scent notes on the bottles anywhere, which is kind of weird, but this one smells so good. To me, this smells so familiar and it's super strong. It's very sweet. It almost has like this vanilla, but it also has a powdery note to it. It smells like something at Lush, but I can't put my finger on it. You know what it smells like? It smells like Snow Fairy from Lush. That is exactly what it reminds me of. I guarantee it, it's literally a dupe for a Lush Snow Fairy. It's so good, so strong, and delicious. It's kind of like a sweet tart type scent. And then we also have the vanilla rainbow sprinkles. There's also like a cotton candy clouds in this line, but they did not have that one. This one is... The really close dupe to Beach Night Summer Marshmallow. So I know a lot of people love that one from Bath & Body Works. I feel like this is basically repackaged, but I get a little bit, maybe a little bit sweeter note, maybe a little bit more vanilla to it, but it's extremely similar to Beach Nights. I'm so happy to have these in my life. They're so good if you guys can get your hands on them. Now let's get into the actual stuff that you guys can easily find at your store. So out of the Tropical line, this one is definitely my favorite, if you guys can guess, is the Belize Tropical Cabana. And I love this because it has banana in it. You guys know I'm a huge fan of banana scents. The notes on it are banana daiquiri, juicy pineapple, and gold. Golden Sands. It smells very good, but I feel like it could be taken up a notch. It's not like my favorite banana scent, um, but I am happy that they finally did somewhat of a banana lotion. They've never actually done one before, and um, I think they need to come out with some more different banana scents because I would love that if they could like duplicate some banana candles because I just love banana, but this one isn't like a pure sweet banana by any means. It's definitely a tropical one because I definitely get some type of beachy note to it, like a beachy, salty air. I don't even know how to describe what the beach smells like, but that's just what it reminds me of. It has like this perfumed note to it, 
but overall it is really nice I do get the banana right away but I do wish it was just a little bit of a sweeter banana but overall I really like it I do feel like the body cream is a little bit sweeter than the lotion in my opinion I did get the little mini of the body cream just to test it out and then I ended up picking up the lotion I also got the mini fragrance mist in this one just because I don't really need a full size but yeah it smells so good and I did get a full size shower gel in the tropical cabana Belize so this one's definitely my favorite of the new tropical line and the one that I would definitely recommend especially if you guys do like banana scents my next favorite in the line is the Key West coconut water and melon um, I ended up starting with the spray in this one and it smells really sweet coconut um, but not like there's a certain coconut that I don't like, like true coconut I'm not a fan of, but something about this with the melon in it is really nice. I'm just going to put a little bit of this lotion on now to refresh my memory. I feel like we have seen this scent before from them. It kind of reminds me of like the, there's like a chill water coconut or something like that from the past that this is very similar to. Maybe like Aruba coconut too. That one was a long time ago, but I feel like that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from the Key West one. But overall, very nice, not too coconutty. I really enjoy it. The notes are coconut water, salt water waves, and then fresh melon. I do want to share with you this fragrance mist I purchased online. They had this as an online exclusive, so I had to get it to try. So I just, they only had like the fragrance mist and shower gel available. It might be available in more, in more forms later, but I'm really impressed with this one. This one... I wasn't sure about because I really don't like floral scents but I used to really like like the Southern Magnolia lotion that one's an OG from Bath and Body Works and I feel like I wanted to kind of try this and see if it would be similar it has notes of dewy pear blossom blooming magnolia and fresh cedar I'm really surprised at how much I do enjoy this scent it's a very light floral it's really nice and I would definitely recommend it I do get a little bit of that southern magnolia vibe but it's definitely not the same I also picked these up they have this happy Easter body care scent in so they have the little minis in this it only comes in minis though and I bought it in store so this is called happy Easter sweet bunny berry I haven't really tried this on the skin yet because I just got these today but the notes are let's see does it even say I don't know if this one has the notes, it's just the sweet bunny berry. Smelling it, just putting it on right now, I'm not getting a lot of the berryness to it. It seems very light and plain. I don't know, that's very weird because when I smell the shower gel, I do get a little bit of that berry. Maybe I just have too many scents going on. But I'm not getting a very strong scent throw at all from this. These are all different colors, by the way, and they're all the same scent. But yeah, the body cream, I got the shower gel because it was buy to get one free. And I got the fragrance mist, which is purple, but they're all the same scent. Let me see if I could put some on my shirt. I'm not smelling a whole lot from it right now. It just seems weird. I thought it would be a little bit more fruity. But anyways, you can find these in store if you guys want to go in and smell them for yourself. I did buy this cute little um, car fragrance plug. I actually just got a new car. So excited. And I wanted to get one for that. And this just made me laugh because it's a little Pomeranian scent portable. <laughs> and uh, my parents actually have a Pomeranian. So it reminded me of my dog. And yeah, I just thought it was so cute. Oh my gosh, it literally looks like Vinny. And I also had to get a fragrance for it, so I picked out Strawberry Pound Cake. I just think this is the cutest ever. And I got a new sanitizer because this one looked really cute as well. I just couldn't resist. It says fresh water and aloe is the scent, but I love that it has a little heart and then the world on it. Just a basic one. I feel like it could be unisex. Guys and girls can wear it. So that is it for this massive Bath and Body Works haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, I tried to go through things fairly quickly. Um, just wanted to let you guys know what I was picking up and what my favorites are and my recommendations. I would love to hear if you guys bought anything recently. What are your favorite finds at Bath and Body Works so far? And I will go ahead and let you go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.